So our first question today is, um, it's a joint question, what are the best websites and organizations to receive scholarships from and how do you know that they aren't fake? Uh, and these questions come jointly from Instagram at Kala underscore 0107 and from Twitter at Kate Rick and a bunch of numbers, I think, <laughs> 756 Sounds like an account number. <laughs> That's the social security number. Yeah, so yeah there we go. I'm Kate Rick, yeah. and now you have her identity. Yeah. Um, so obviously the best place to go for scholarships is collegeexpress.com slash scholarships. Um, <laughs> we have to say that because um, we have a ton of money there that you can look for. Uh, but there are really a bunch of different websites and organizations that you can go to. Uh, you can get them directly through the school when you apply. Uh, Google does their doodle for Google scholarship, which is ever, everyone's racing toward. Uh, check your parents' companies, like whatever companies they work for, go and see, just kind of look at their website, see if they offer any scholarships. Um, and anything that they might be a part of. My parents were members of the Sicilian Association, and I got a scholarship from them that was like maybe a few hundred bucks, I think $500, but that went directly to my school books, and I did not have to pay for textbooks that semester. It was great. Um, and really just knowing how that they won't be fake, the first thing is to do is just research. So if you know it's a legitimate company, so like I, going through the Society Association, I knew it was a legitimate company. We've been like working with them for years. We've been members of their um, association for years. Um, your parents' companies are legit unless they work for a shell mm -hmm. company, in which case, Research that and call, call the authorities. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, basically just just research and and making sure it's not too good to be sure. Essentially, like if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah, and I think just going off that point too. If you're going on a lot of websites uh, now, more than ever, and as time progresses, yeah. like SSL is a big thing uh, for security and you're going to see if you look in the little browsers a little icon up at the top uh, that says okay this is a secure site uh, you want to make sure that you know these companies are going through those things you can always jump onto a google form or a reddit whatever you want to go to and just say hey is this company legit uh, go through everything and just and just double check that especially when it comes to web because yeah. you might find something that's like hey win a million dollar scholarship and just give us all your information yeah. and then never hear from them again. And your identity stolen like Kate Rick. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All moves back. <laughs> I think also most uh, websites will have like a contact page. Mm -hmm. And so if they have like a phone number or an mm -hmm. email address, I mean, still be aware of like the email they're sending back to you and make sure it's legit as well. But, you know, if you can contact them and ask them a few questions about it and they respond to you, it's probably legit. And if you just Google the scholarship and it's like comes up on Google as one of the first um, options usually it's pretty legit because Google's not going to have a fake website at the yeah. top of their search yeah. bar. So it's another way to figure it out. Also check for things like um, accreditation. So like look at the Better Business Bureau. If they're accredited by them, they're usually pretty legit um, as companies. Uh, and sort of if they're listed on multiple scholarship sites, like if they're listed on like College Express and the College Boards one or CapEx and all that, uh, which all have scholarship searches, that it's more likely to be legit because those companies go through and vet and make sure that the scholarships are legit for you. Yeah, you made a good point about the Bez Better Business Bureau. Yeah. If I can speak, that'd be great. The BBB. The, yeah, the <laughs> BBB. Uh, so when you're looking, a lot of the companies will actually have that in their footer or yeah. in the About Us section, uh, and then it will link off and you can actually see their rating on the Better Business Bureau. So that's definitely one thing to do, but if they it's just a listing for a scholarship and it lists who's sponsoring that scholarship, jump to the sponsor to see if they have that rating on it uh, instead of just, this is the site I'm on, and that will give you a little bit more of a clear idea if they're legit or not. And also going back to College Express, in case you don't know that much about what they offer, is if you are registered, you get an email every Saturday Called Scholarship Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, get them from me. <laughs> and it's just kind of a, a few scholarships that are coming up with due dates recent, um, coming soon. And so you can apply to those, and they're every week. So you can apply to three scholarships every week. Um, and then also just registering on College Express enters you into the $10,000 Carnegie Dartlet Scholarship, 
which is awarded every year. So that's a huge bonus as well. Yeah, that's a, a couple of things. I can definitely dive in, into College Express a little bit more because I work on the website nonstop. <laughs> but uh, the um, keeping track of everything and having the Scholarship Saturday is a fantastic tool. You get that every single week of, hey, here's some upcoming deadlines. And it's, it's good if you're lazy um, <laughs> just because you're not proactively going out and searching for those scholarships. And then they're coming right into your inbox, so you can just work with that and grab things and, and say, okay, this is, works for me, this doesn't work for me. It's not really tailored directly to you, uh, but it is those upcoming scholarships. If you do want something more tailored to you, College Express mm -hmm. has $7 billion worth of scholarships in our database, and you can search by keyword, interest, and you can also refine your search by your GPA, SAT, and your academic grad year. So, that makes it a little bit more easy to find stuff that's more relevant to you and that you're more apt to get that scholarship because it's something that you're interested in and it also fits your qualifications. So that's a big benefit. You can also check your state's website. Um, I've just been doing a bunch of research um, recently about in-state tuition waivers and in-state tuition like um, uh, scholarships that you can find and you don't really need to do extra to apply to it so for Massachusetts there's the John and Abigail Adams scholarship which if you score a certain amount on your MCAS that you take in public school you get a tuition waiver free tuition to uh, Massachusetts state schools that qualify <coughs> excuse me and there's no additional things to do for that so look into opportunities like that in your states um, where and just do research and ask your teachers ask your guidance counselors go to your guidance counselors That's to ask about one. scholarships. Mm -hmm. um, because even then your school might have uh, scholarships available to you. I know we had an award night my senior year where we all went to a location, I don't remember where, but we went to um, uh, like an auditorium and they would call up seniors and they would give them scholarships that were funded by alumni. Mm -hmm. So ask your, um, your guidance counselor what scholarships like that you might be able to apply for or what might be available to you that you might just win in general. Yeah, and there's uh, definitely a unique approach to some of them too. Like we had one of our close friends in high school was going for aviation. And so the only kid in our high school going for aviation. So he won every single scholarship that was supplied by our high school yeah. for aviation. Uh, so going to your guidance counselor and being aware of what the school offers, and you mentioned alumni, which is great, uh, yeah. what the alumni offer, and finding your niche and, and swimming into that to yeah. pick up some extra cash. Yeah, just going off of that, I think one of the biggest things to remember is to utilize all of your resources. Um, you know, there's an abundance of scholarships, large and small. Um, they all can go a really long way. You know, use your school, your local community, guidance counselors, College Express. You know, there's so many different ways to kind of connect yourself to these scholarships that are out there. So just, you know, sit down, organize yourself, you know, figure out what you're really looking for and you can organize yourself that way and kind of dive into the scholarship search. And um, don't always go for the huge scholarships. So like there's, is it Dr. Pepper that does the like full tuition scholarship, mm -hmm. but it's, there are thousands of applicants. It's really difficult to win. I'm not saying you'll do it, yeah, yeah. but one don't, don't attempt it. One person yeah. wins that, um, like those ones where very few people win um, are harder to get, but go for the smaller ones. Cause if you get five, $500 scholarships, that's better than winning one $1,000 scholarship. Um, in the long run because you get more money and usually fewer people apply to the smaller scholarships because they say, oh, it's $100. Like, what's that going to do? Buy me a textbook? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. but <laughs> that's one textbook you don't have to buy. That's a nice thing, too, about the smaller ones. Are like, they're just quirky and yeah. fun ones that uh, we have a list on College Express that's like the 20... The ultimate easy scholarship list just yeah. updated this there, week. There's the ultimate easy scholarship list, but there's also the uh, weirdest scholarships. Um, yes, there's a list on that, yep. Yeah, and there are some very bizarre ones. So it's just fun to see what is yeah. offered out there and then be like, oh, this is like something I... There's one for duct tape. Like, what, what are yeah, the duct tape crown dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They is have there a, really? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So if you need a prom dress, <laughs> and have or, a lot of duct tape. Yeah, and, you, and you're, you're very creative. Go Get try creative. for the duct tape one. 
That's right. Yeah. So you could get some money for, for college after you, <laughs> you sweep the prom. That's also really helpful if you do that and you're like not sure of what your major is, because there are a lot of ones that are like very specific to majors. Um, like I know there's one for mortuary science. And if you're like considering you're like, I like uh, medicine and all that science stuff, but I don't like people. Mortuary science is perfect for you because <laughs> you don't actually have to interact with people. I was wondering why you were pointing the pilot. <laughs> I was no. um, <laughs> ripping off people. <laughs> <laughs> ripping off what you were saying. Um, <laughs> I was like, did you study that? No, no, no. <laughs> Although my grandfather okay. was actually. See, yeah, that. I knew yeah. that. Yeah. I totally knew that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, which is. Not something I bring up ever to anybody, so <laughs> welcome to my family. <laughs> hey, it's a good business. Yeah. yeah. It's almost as good as it being an accountant. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's just as constant. <laughs> true, true. Um, yeah, I think um, also just uh, looping back to it too, if you're having a rough time searching for scholarships, there. And it's on College Express, so I'm a little biased here, but there are ways you can just jump into it and then see like what people are searching for. And so College Express has our most popular searches of the year, which are down at the bottom, and then the most recent searches too. So even if something's really popular, I know uh, most recent and popular always is No Essay, so I yeah. do lazy kids out there. Mm -hmm. um, no Essay scholarships are big, so if you type that in, you're going to find a bunch of scholarships that are, hey, you don't have to write an essay for this, this is how you apply. Yeah. Um, and then also just um, going out and finding like stuff like the College Express, Carnegie Dartlet, uh, our parent company offering the $10,000 scholarship. All you have to do is register and then you're entered to win that. Yeah. So uh, there's very easy ones that, hey, why not? It takes five minutes of my time, max. Yeah. Um, just jump in and do it. You can also look specifically at companies. So Microsoft does scholarships um, for students internationally um, as well as nationally. Um, so look into like those big companies, be like, oh, I wonder if this company does scholarships. And most likely they do. I mean, a lot of Fortune 500 companies especially, you don't necessarily have to like have a parent that works for them. You don't have to work for them. You can just apply for them. Um, and they, again, those get a larger application pool, but they can, if that doesn't hurt to apply, yep. um, you're never going to lose money. And if if they're, you're being charged for a scholarship service, uh, not usually the best thing. If it's like an entry to a contest that you're paying, it's less so um, of an issue. But if you're like paying for a service to show you scholarships, that's, don't do that. There are free resources like College Express. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, uh, just looping back, I know you said, um, with a Sicilian uh, member? Yeah, the Sicilian Association. Uh, that, yeah, the different um, groups and organizations in your hometown, like even if you're very religious, uh, I know like certain churches yeah. and uh, you know whatever affiliation you have, the, those groups usually offer something. Depending on, you mentioned parent companies, but even like working for a movie theater, they might have something that ties yeah. into it. Uh, so whatever your part-time job is. McDonald's uh, just started doing scholarships and Dunkin' Donuts for people that work for them. Yeah. Um, I know, at least in New Hampshire, Dunkin' Donuts has a scholarship thing because there's like an ad for it when you go to the drive through Got Yeah, they're like, work for us, you can get a scholarship. I'm like, what? Do you okay. have to enter the scholarship or is it just if you work there, you get a scholarship? I don't know the, the details on that, mm -hmm. but that's some research. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and McDonald's did that, that commercial, uh, I want to say like a year ago, where it had like the kid got their college acceptance letter and brought it into work and it said McDonald's giving scholarships to, to schools. And I'm like, that's really cool because a lot of people work at these fast food restaurants to earn money in high school, to earn money in college. And it could end up paying you back more. So look into those at, at the places you work. And it doesn't have to be as big as McDonald's. And even local companies sometimes have that. Yeah, I worked at Market Basket in high school. And I found out that if you work there and you send them your information, they give you a scholarship every year. You just have to reapply. I didn't know that until I was in my senior year of college. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a little too late. But that's a good resource as well. If you're from the New England area and work at Market Basket, <laughs> go check that out <laughs> yeah definitely. that's a that's the thing is uh just look everywhere apply to everything yeah and as kara mentioned earlier uh winning five smaller scholarships yeah. is better than winning none at all or one larger one that doesn't pay off as much yeah. so i think that's really the key thing to remember yeah, yeah.